Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. We begin with our big story. Questions left unanswered in the death of a Valley woman found inside her car over the weekend with a rope around her neck. We've learned Stella Chiari was a foster mother to the one-year-old baby police found at her house. As the mystery over her death looms tonight, we're hearing from Stella in a podcast about her journey to Arizona before her death. Good evening. I'm Joe Dana. Mark is off. Team 12's Antonia Mejia is live in the Alert Center. And Antonia, what are we hearing? Cariba family is confirming that one-year-old boy's name is King. Now, Stan Stella's family, they're not ready to go on camera, but they tell me they're terrified and shocked by her sudden death. 29-year-old Stella Chiari's family describes her as a dedicated public servant. She worked for the state health department with Refugee Resettlement Services. In a podcast published last year, I love babies. I love children. Stella speaks about her desire to become a foster parent. We have more black children in the system than we have people to take care of them who have the same identity or hue like them. And that moment touched me. Twice a week, three hours, for five weeks, I took foster care classes. Soon enough, Stella had a child in her care. The Kenyan woman said it was her way of giving back to others in need. For me, internally, I knew what I was doing. But externally, nobody else knew what I was doing. Her family, devastated and now searching for answers in her mysterious death. Sunday morning, Stella was found unresponsive in her car along the Loop 101 near Bell Road in the Northwest Valley. It had crashed against a concrete median, but police say she had a rope around her neck. After seeing a child's car seat inside the white vehicle, police went to her home and found her one-year-old foster baby. And investigators are still trying to figure out what caused Stella's death. She was living alone in the valley, and her family has flown in from out of town to comfort each other. We're live in the Alert Center. Antonia Mejia, 12 News. All right, Antonia, thank you.